Hello, welcome back to Level 1 Plumbing. Today's lesson is on pressure pipe. So I am going to give you an insight and then later we are going to do a Level 1 Plumbing exercise. Right, so people also call it speed fit pipe, push fit pipe, barrier pipe, plastic pipe. It's made, so it's made up of polybutylene and it comes in the same sizes as copper, so i.e. 22 millimetres and 15 millimetres. And it does exactly the same job as copper, with, with the exception being you cannot use this barrier pipe on gas and you can't use it within the first metre of a boiler. You have to use copper. So my general rule, folks, is with barrier pipe, install it where it's not seen, so under sinks, under floors, and where pipe work is seen, use copper because it looks so much more nicer. So a hacksaw could damage the seals, whereas a designated pipe cutter with a proper tool, just with a hacksaw. So for this pressure pipe, you can buy all sorts of fittings, T's, elbows, valves, you name it. Right, so the reason I like the Polypipe Pro Max, it just looks so much nicer than traditional other make fittings. And it's very simple to use. So how it works, the very simple version is if you cut the Polypipe on the K mark, there. If you use an insert, like that. And then you just push it in till you can't see the next K. Job done. No turning, job done. And if you ever need to remove the pipe, use a special key. Push it in like this and pull the pipe out. And just on another note, these fittings are compatible with copper, like that. So copper versus that one. The diameter pipe is now about nine millimeters, whereas a 15 millimeter copper is about 12 millimeters, just an observation. But you can also connect barrier pipe to compression fittings. Okay, but a couple of things to bear in mind. Make sure you don't use a brass olive. Use a copper olive because they're, they're a bit softer and they compress better. And also, make sure that the pipe stiffener or insert is compatible. Right? For example, this type is not compatible, whereas this type is. Always check with the manufacturer's instructions. So let's push it in. Like that, easy. So, all right, so just out of interest, inside these fittings, we've got, um, should, you should never need to take it apart, but we've got All right, let's, let's have a go at doing a level one task. Like always, because we want to be spot on with our measurements, we're going to draw our work to scale on a board and put some clips in. Let's do that now. So now we're going to put some clips in. Remember, 
if you put lots of clips in and your work fits into the clips, then you're not going to be far off with your measurements. So let's do that now. So using the bradle, just gonna poke some holes. We have spent a bit of time marking out to scale the dimensions and we have also put plenty of clips in. If all our work fits into the clips, then we are not going to be far wrong. Now we are going to put the fittings in place. So it's all 15 millimeter. So we've got 15, so we're going to have a 15 millimeter push fit T here, 15 millimeter push fit elbow here, a 15 millimeter push fit elbow here, a 15 millimeter push fit T here, a 15 millimeter push fit T here, and a 15 millimeter push fit T here. And also, we've got a fitting called a wall plate elbow. So it's a half, so it's a 15 millimeter push fit elbow to a half inch female fitting. And what this can be used for is this could be used to screw like a, for example, an outdoor tap or bib tap too, like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this piece of pipe here first, okay, so how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna use a piece of copper, it's just to hold it in place, okay, so we're focusing on this pipe here first. Right, so keeping this one easy, the first one, we're gonna cut it on the K, like the manufacturer's recommend. We're going to insert the stiffener and what we're going to do is we're going to push this pipe all the way till we can't see the next K. Like that. Okay, so that's that one in. Just going to mark it. Like that. We're going to do this piece of pipe here. Use some copper just to sort of hold it in place. Okay, so it's got to be 220 mil center to center. So my little technique for, for working out these sizes is I'm going to cut the pipe. 220 mil long, like this. I'm going to put two inserts in, so an insert in that side and an insert. Okay, so this is cut 220 long and I know it's not going to fit, but what I'm going to do Push this pipe into the fit in like that. Here, fine, like that. By cutting my pipe 220 millimeters long, it's actually 25 millimeters too long. So that's telling me. But if I cut 25 mil off this, it's going to fit perfectly. So I've wrongly cut this pipe 220 millimeters long. And the reason it's wrong is because we want center to center measurements. And as you can see, when the pipe is pushed into the fitting, it gains in length this much, about 12 mil per side with the T, so when it pushes in, because we measure it to the center, because we measure it to the center, so because we measure it from the center, when you push the pipe in, it gains in length. So in all, it gains about 12 mil 
per side. So that is why this pipe 220 long is about 25 millimeters too long. But it's useful to do it wrong because we now know that each side needs 25 mil taken off it. Right, so we're going to cut 25 mil off that. Which is there. Like that. Put the insert in. Just to make sure the pipe's pushed in all the way. The pipe goes to that line there. I've got a little mark here. So when I when I can't see my line, I've pushed it in enough. Right, that's that one done. Right, so the, now the next one. Next one. So from middle to middle is 125 mil. And we worked out, because we're using the same family of fittings, it grows 25 millimetres. So we're going to cut this one 100 millimetres. I'm going to do a line there just so we know that it's all the way in. Like that. And we're also going to do a line just here. Like that. Like that. Is that one done? Which is there. Like that. Insert, insert, like that. Like that. So we're going to cut this one 100 millimeters also. Two, one, two. Hold that in line there. So that pushes all the way to there. And we're just going to mark it that side of the insert. So that's that one. All right. Push that into there. Then we'll do a little line here just so we know that it's gone all the way in, like that, like that. That goes in there, and then the last one is to be a hundred mil long. Pushed in all the way, like that, like that. Here, it's got to end just there. There's a line, I've drawn, I've drawn a line just where it ends. So what we then do, so this indentation here, just draw a mark there. Put that in, like that. We are now going to put a male, a half inch male stop end in here so we can test our pipe work. I'm not going to waste an insert in this one. We connect our work to the pressure tester like this manufacturers say we need to test it to 18 bar for between 15 minutes and one hour now you know how to work with plastic pressure pipe it's your turn to use it everywhere